What about, what about networking when you're looking to maybe become a solo practitioner? How does that change the flavor of this sort of reaching out? I think it's the same. You know, I think that even more so you would want to find successful solos, like solos who are making it happen and you will want to build a network of those people, right? You'd want to do informational interviews. I mean, they might, they may have even less time. So you really got to be, you know, flexible with your time to meet with them. But, you know, I think a lot of those people, they're usually hustlers and entrepreneurs and they will want to share and connect back with you and give a little back. That's what I found is, you know, people have actually gone out and done, you know, made that risk and succeeded. Um, really do want to help the next the next person behind them. So yeah, I mean it's the same. It's all the same, and you know it's much the same. Now that I'm in a position, I'm a partner in a boutique, and I have to develop business. I found it's the same thing. That same hustle that got me my job at Jones Day is the hustle I use now to develop business. So wow, that's that's really that's really so. something. It makes it makes a lot of sense. I'm thinking, let's say. So John is a personal injury attorney, and Jane's a criminal defense attorney. Right. You might both get asked about recommendations for lawyers for the other person's specialty. And so if they know each other, they can pass those between each other. Happens every day, all day long. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.